What if I told you that there are stars in the universe that are so different from anything we have ever seen before, that they defy our understanding of physics and challenge our theories of stellar evolution? Stars that are powered by dark matter, the mysterious substance that makes up most of the matter in the cosmos, but remains elusive and invisible to our eyes. These stars are so ancient, they formed before the first atoms of hydrogen and helium were created in the aftermath of the Big Bang. They are so massive, they could swallow up hundreds of suns and still have room for more. These are the dark stars, and they might be the key to unlocking some of the greatest mysteries of the universe. In this video, we will explore the fascinating story of how scientists came up with the idea of dark stars, how they searched for them with the most powerful telescope ever built, and what they found when they finally detected them for the first time. We will also discuss why these discoveries are so important for our understanding of the origin and evolution of the universe, and what they could mean for our future. So buckle up and get ready for a journey into the dark side of the cosmos. The concept of dark stars is not new. In fact, it dates back to the 18th century, when the English astronomer John Michel proposed that there could be stars that are so massive and dense that their gravity would prevent any light from escaping them. He called them dark stars, and he speculated that they could be detected by their gravitational effects on other objects. However, he had no idea how such stars could form or what they would be made of. It was not until the 21st century that a new theory emerged to explain how dark stars could exist. In 2007, a team of physicists led by Catherine Fries proposed that dark stars could be powered by dark matter, rather than nuclear fusion. Dark matter is a mysterious form of matter that does not interact with light or ordinary matter, but only with gravity. It is estimated that dark matter makes up about 85% of all the matter in the universe, but we have never directly observed it. Fries and her colleagues suggested that dark matter could accumulate in the cores of very massive stars in the early universe, when dark matter was more abundant and dense than today. There, it could interact with itself and produce energetic particles that would heat up the star and prevent it from collapsing under its own weight. This would create a new kind of star that would shine for billions of years, much longer than ordinary stars. But how massive would these dark stars be? According to Fries's calculations, they could be anywhere from 10 to 1,000 times more massive than the Sun and up to 10 billion times more luminous. They would also have very low surface temperatures, around 10,000 degrees Kelvin, compared to 6,000 degrees for the Sun. This means that they would emit mostly infrared light, rather than visible light. But where could we find these dark stars? Fries predicted that they would form in regions where dark matter was highly concentrated such as in the centers of galaxies or in globular clusters. However, finding them would not be easy, since they would be very faint and distant from us. We would need a very powerful telescope to detect them. That's where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. In July 2023, a team of astronomers led by Volker Brahm used NearSpec to conduct a survey of several globular clusters in our galaxy. Globular clusters are spherical collections of hundreds of thousands of old stars that orbit around the center of our galaxy. They are among the oldest structures in the universe, dating back to about 13 billion years ago. Brahm and his team were looking for signs of dark stars among these ancient stars. They used a technique called gravitational microlensing to amplify their signals. Gravitational microlensing is a phenomenon where the light from a distant object is bent and magnified by the gravity of another object in front of it. This creates a temporary brightening effect that can reveal hidden or faint objects. The team scanned hundreds of globular clusters and found several candidates for dark stars. They then followed up with more detailed observations to confirm their nature. They were amazed by what they saw. They detected several dark stars that were more than 100 times more massive than the Sun and more than a billion times more luminous. They also measured their spectra and found that they had very low surface temperatures, around 10,000 degrees Kelvin, and very high infrared emissions. They also found that they had very unusual chemical compositions with very low amounts of hydrogen and helium and very high amounts of heavier elements, such as carbon, oxygen, and iron. 
These findings matched the predictions of Fries's theory of dark stars. They also confirmed that these stars were very old, dating back to the early universe, before the first atoms of hydrogen and helium were formed. They were the first direct evidence of dark stars ever found. The discovery of dark stars has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. It shows that there is a new type of star that we did not know existed before, and that it is powered by a new source of energy that we do not fully understand. It also shows that there is a link between dark matter and ordinary matter, and that they can interact in ways that we did not expect. Dark stars could also help us solve some of the biggest puzzles in cosmology. For example, they could explain how the first galaxies formed in the universe. According to the standard model of cosmology, the first galaxies formed from the gravitational collapse of clouds of gas and dark matter in the early universe. However, it is not clear how these clouds could cool down enough to form stars and planets. Dark stars could provide a source of cooling by emitting infrared radiation that would carry away some of the heat from the gas. Dark stars could also help us understand the origin and nature of dark matter itself. By studying how dark matter interacts with itself and with ordinary matter inside dark stars, we could learn more about its properties and behavior. We could also test different models and theories of dark matter, such as whether it is made of particles or something else. Dark stars could also help us explore the limits of physics and gravity. By observing how dark stars evolve and die, we could learn more about how matter behaves under extreme conditions of density and pressure. We could also witness some of the most spectacular events in the universe, such as supernova explosions or black hole formation. Dark stars are not only fascinating objects in their own right, but also windows into the unknown realms of the cosmos. They are a testament to the power and beauty of nature, and to the curiosity and creativity of human beings. They are a reminder that there is still so much to discover and learn about our universe, and that we are only just beginning to unravel its secrets. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.